but he was saying it's not about studies it not it's not about research it's about my supervisor ki mera jo supervisor ke sath relations the it was very bad and later on i dropped the phd idea because mujhe aisa laga ki yaar har supervisor aisa hota hai and uh, i can't tolerate this type of attitude this type of basically behavior for 5 years in phd so today i'm going to tell you four different points ki supervisor mein kya cheez select karni hai red flags kya hote hain and uh, whether to join the research group or not agar aapko pata lag jayegi ki ye supervisor acha nahi hai and finally if you are in research group where your supervisor is very difficult to handle what can you do hey everyone welcome to yourpedia again so uh, today why i am making a video because recently i had conversation with one of my friend from iit kanpur so i just want to share one incident with you so i have one i had one friend in iit kanpur uh, he was very capable guy he worked very well during his masters and uh, nowadays he is working in mercedes benz so as he may curiosity out of curiosity i asked him like why did not you pursue the phd so pehle kya tha ki wo mujhe bolne lag gaya ki phd is very long term commitment uh, i actually i got married and uh, later on i dropped the idea but baat baat mein ek baat nikal ke aayi he told me ki uska mtech ka experience bahut kharab raha I said why? Like you are very hard working guy. तुम्हारा experience कैसे खराब रह सकता है कि I can say कि मेरा experience खराब रहा because I had to put lot of effort going from tier three university to IIT. तो मुझे बहुत effort डालना पड़ा. But he was saying it's not about studies. It not it's not about research. It's about my supervisor. कि मेरा जो supervisor के साथ relations थे, it was very bad. And later on, I dropped the PhD idea because मुझे ऐसा लगा कि यार हर supervisor ऐसा होता है and uh, I can't tolerate this type of attitude, this type of basically behavior for five years in PhD. तो so, uh, फिर मुझे लगा कि that uh, this video I should make like what actually you have to look into a supervisor before joining a PhD. तो so, India में क्या होता है कि we are a very populated country that is true. तो so, generally हम खुद से चूज नहीं करते हैं पीएचडी में हमें जो प्रोविजन मिलती है हम चले जाते हैं बट चूजिंग अ गुड रिसर्च ग्रुप फॉर पीएचडी इज वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आई वुड से मास्टर्स में क्या होता है कि तुम्हें डिफिकल्ट भी सुपरवाइजर मिल रहा है तो यू कैन मैनेज वन ईयर विद हिम बट पीएचडी इट्स फाइव ईयर समटाइम्स इट्स फोर ईयर थ्री ईयर ऑल्सो बट इट्स अ लॉन्ग टर्म कमिटमेंट एंड यहाँ से क्या होता है कि तुम्हारा करियर डेवलप होना स्टार्ट होगा एंड आई वुड से कि इफ तुम्हारा पीएचडी में सुपरवाइजर के साथ रिलेशन अच्छे नहीं है देन इट्स अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर यू सो टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू फोर डिफरेंट पॉइंट्स कि सुपरवाइजर में क्या चीज सिलेक्ट करनी है रेड फ्लैग्स क्या होते हैं एंड वेदर टू ज्वाइन द रिसर्च ग्रुप और नॉट अगर आपको पता लग जाएगी ये सुपरवाइजर अच्छा नहीं है एंड फाइनली इफ यू आर इन रिसर्च ग्रुप वेयर योर सुपरवाइजर इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू हैंडल वट कैन यू डू सो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस दिस पॉइंट इन डिटेल्स वन बाय वन So before I move ahead, uh, if you like the content on your Pedia Global channel, so you can follow us on Instagram and LinkedIn as well. We have the link. Link is shown above, so you can just click on that link and you can follow us over there. So now let's proceed. Okay, so I'm going to talk about these four points. Ki sabse pehle, who is the bad supervisor? Uh, what are the red flags which you have to check before joining a research group? If you are getting some red flags, should you join that research group or not? That is the third question. Finally, if you are in wrong research group and you are in PhD, how to tackle a difficult supervisor? So, first of all, who is bad supervisor? Do you know? उसमें कुछ निशानी होती है bad supervisor की. First of all, कि अगर तुमने कुछ गलत किया, तो वो आपको बहुत बुरी तरीके से डांट रहा है. That is the first sign you have a bad supervisor. So. जो अच्छा लीडर होगा जो अच्छा सुपरवाइजर होगा व्हाट ही विल डू ही विल सेट अप अ मीटिंग विद यू इन पर्सनली एंड ही कैन टेल यू लाइक दिस इज व्हाट आई थिंक यू आर डूइंग रॉन्ग एंड यू शुड अप्रिशिएट दैट थिंग बट एक जो बैड सुपरवाइजर होगा वो क्या करेगा कि लैब मीटिंग होगी सात से आठ लोग हैं उस मीटिंग में एंड ही विल स्कोल्ड यू ही टेल यू वेरी बैड वर्ड इन फ्रंट ऑफ एवरी तो इस टाइप की चीजें क्या होती है कि वंस और ट्वाइस इट इज ओके बट अगर ये कीप ऑन इट इफ इट इफ इट कीप्स ऑन गोइंग फॉर फाइव इयर्स देन इट इज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू हैंडल तो ये आपका कॉन्फिडेंस ब्रेक करेगी एंड व्हेन यू गो आउटसाइड इन फ्रंट ऑफ एनी ऑडियंस यू ऑलवेज फील अंडर कॉन्फिडेंट आई सॉ 
uh, many many students who are in this situation when they go outside in conferences if somebody ask them question if somebody ask them wrong question then also they are so under confident ki wo aisa sochenge ki yeah maybe i am wrong so this is the first trait i would say uh, it is very bad in a supervisor if he is scolding you every time there are some supervisors i know in abroad also if you are especially if you are coming from asia there are some supervisor who will treat you very very bad so generally you heard from your seniors or from other people like never join asian professor this is a one trait which they have and i think that is very bad so you should leave that research group if professor is treating you like that and second thing or uh, what bad supervisor will do every week he will expect some results from you and if you are not giving then again he is treating you very badly uh, so i know one of my friend uska kya tha ki qualifying exam tha and his supervisor keeps on giving him work and all and he is saying i don't i don't know like if you have a qualifying exam you have to manage on your own so that is a very bad quality in a leader uh, if he is not empathetic he, if he is not understanding your situation then again he is a very bad supervisor i would say third thing i would say if he is not appreciating your work if you are uh, putting some effort sometimes results are not coming and if sometimes results are coming but when results are coming then supervisor is taking the credit and if it is not working then he is blaming you that is again quality of a bad supervisor uh, fourth thing bad supervisor they basically prevent you from going to conferences so bahut bar maine dekha hai ki supervisors jo hote hain uh, for international con- conferences they never let you go the thought ki main chala jata hu us conference mein i'll take my family with myself but he's not giving you exposure then again this is a bad supervisor okay uh, fifth thing i would say ki agar ek research group se log graduate ho rahe ho in 7 or 8 years or i would say 6 or 7 years uh, but they have only one or two publications then again supervisor is bad it's not your fault if supervisor is not helping you in getting at least 6 to 7 first author publications after your phd then again that is a bad supervisor okay ek nishani aur hogi bad supervisor ki he is very lenient sometimes some supervisor are very very lenient so wo kabhi team meeting nahi karenge team meeting mein time pe nahi aayenge he never they never ask you ki uh, tumhara research kaisa chal raha hai kitne research paper aa rahe hain tumhare if you are graduating with one research paper from some research group again i would say this is a bad supervisor okay so what are the red flags so many student asked me this question what are the red flags ki hum ek supervisor mein kya dekhte hain supervisors also see in student there are some red flags but what you have to see in a supervisor that is a red flag so first thing ki us alumina uh, sorry us research group ke jitne current students hain unko linkedin pe add karo try to ask them some question try to make conversation don't ask directly how is the supervisor but if supervisor is not good you will get some signal from the current students they will tell you like bhai is research group mein mat aana it is not very good and uh, uh, supervisor is treating students very badly if you are getting any sort of red flags i would say stop there okay second thing what you can do you can check the research publications if publications are not in good journals if impact factor is very very low for that particular research group uh, students who are publishing their paper they have very low impact factor i would say that is again not a good research group so that is again a good, uh, red flag for you so us type ka research group mat join karo ki 5 saal phd karne ke baad bhi aap soch rahe ho ki ab kya karu i don't have any option so this is again red flag third thing aap always wahan ka alumni group check karo to us research group se graduate ho rahe ho what options they have and what they are currently doing agar log alag alag different different directions mein ja rahe some are working in corporates some are working in academia or kayo ne apna startup start kar liya hai some are moving back to their own country aur wahan pe acha kuch kar rahe hain that is a good research group actually but if it is not happening everyone is going like everyone is doing post doctorate so post doctorate is not out of choice it is basically due to lack of option if everybody is doing post doctorate for 3 4 years after graduating from that research group then that is a red flag again for you so don't join that research group uh next question is should i join तो मेरा आंसर होगा कि डू यू हैव ऑप्शन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल बैड सुपरवाइजर एंड गुड सुपरवाइजर दिस क्वेश्चन विल कम इफ ओनली यू हैव डिफरेंट ऑप्शन अगर आपके पास एक ही सिलेक्शन ऑफर है फ्रॉम यूएस एंड यू वॉन्ट टू मूव देयर तो आई वुड से ज्वाइन करो यू डोंट हैव एनी ऑप्शन यू कॉन्ट से दिस सुपरवाइजर इज बैड इवन इफ यू आर गेटिंग रेड फ्लैग्स 
यू हैव टू ज्वाइन फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल अगर आपके पास ऑप्शन नहीं है ओके देन देर इज सेकेंड थिंग कि आप वहां पे जाके आफ्टर सिक्स मंथ चेंज कर लो सेकेंड सेमेस्टर में आप कोई और सुपरवाइजर ढूंढ लो बट दिस क्वेश्चन विल ओनली कम शुड आई ज्वाइन और नॉट इफ यू हैव ऑप्शन सेकेंड थिंग इफ यू आर गोइंग टू डू मास्टर्स यू नो लाइक दिस इज नॉट अ गुड सुपरवाइजर ही विल मेक योर लाइफ हेल्प बट यू नो लाइक इट इज ओनली फॉर सिक्स टू एट मंथ यू हैव टू डू वन प्रोजेक्ट and uh, then you got graduated and uh, you will get your job you will get your phd then i would say ki 6 se 8 mahina ke liye manage karo usko manage ho jate hain difficult supervisor that is my next point how to tackle dif- uh, difficult supervisors so on this particular thing i am going to uh, make another video how to tackle there is a strategy for that if your supervisor is bad and he is giving you very hard time how to tackle him so i am going to make next video on that particular topic so if you like our content again i will say subscribe our channel and you can uh, follow us on instagram and you can follow us on linkedin also so thank you very much for watching this video i'm coming again with the second part